Okay, hello, this is Dr. Janes, and today I'm going to talk about how to temporarily disable some programs. Let's say you, you want to, you don't want to uninstall them because maybe you got some setups set up on them, but you just, they're kind of annoying you. They barge in when you don't want them to. Like maybe you're going to a meeting and, and uh, for instance, Skype is going out of control. It wants to, uh, you know, uh, do annoying things while, <clears throat> while you're trying to, uh, not be interrupted and so let's uh let's we're going to look at how to uh, disable these apps temporarily so you can disable them during your meeting or when, when you're doing something you don't want to be annoyed and uh then turn them back on later and so uh we're gonna have to get into settings so the easiest way to do that is to swipe down from the top with your finger like that and then uh if you click on the gear over here in the top corner top right hand corner and I, I know this is an older phone. I had someone comment on that, but I have newer phones. It's it's the same. You know, Android hasn't changed that much. Uh, this is a KitKat, but I also have Lollipop and and some other operating systems. So let, let's go down the app, okay? And uh, we'll click on apps. And let's say uh, Skype is annoying you. So let's go down and try to find Skype in the list of applications and it looks like they're in al alphabetical order uh, so here is Skype and so if we click on that okay there's a button at the top see it's, it says uh, force stop so if we click on force stop it says if you force stop an application it may misbehave we want it to. We want it to stop annoying us when we don't want it. And so we have turn that baby off. Okay. And so we can click the back button and uh, get out of this. <clears throat> and now our Skype it's still up there I believe. It doesn't, doesn't uninstall it. It's still there. But now it's not going to bust in and annoy us when we don't, when we don't want it to. And uh, so we can do our business. And then when we're done, we can go back into settings and find applications again. I don't want to click on it because if you click on it, it will start it back up again. So anyway, we'll go down and... Um, Oh, there's Skype. And uh, I guess we want to be annoyed by it again, so let's uh, uh, actually, you know what? Let's uh, let's just go to Skype. And if we click on it, Oh, okay, there we go. It's starting up. Just took it a while. Okay, so let's let's get out of Skype. Okay. And now let's go back into settings. We, we can go into settings through the gear also. There's different ways of going into it. Either swipe down from the top or go into settings from the gear. And let's go into apps. And let's go back down to Skype. Okay, there we go. And see, now that forced stop thing is now highlighted. So it's actually running now because we clicked on it. And um, before when we checked in here, it was uh, kind of grayed out. So you, it was stopped. So you can tell if it stopped, if that forced stop is grayed out. And it looks like by clicking on it, we're able to start it back up again. And it looks like it was behaving properly. So now we can get uh, Skypes again from this free phone call uh, application. And let's get back out of this. Okay. And so that's how you can temporarily disable applications on your cell phone or tablet. Uh, this is Dr. Janes, and thanks for watching.